Hello everyone. Let us consider a subset of a topological space A. Then A union derived set of A is always closed set. Now we need to prove this A union derived set of A is closed. Let us go with the proof. Let us consider capital A be any subset of a topological space capital X. To prove A union derived set of A is a closed set. To prove A union derived set of A is closed, we need to prove its complement that is X minus a union derived set of A is open. Right? For this, let us consider any element say small x. This belongs to this open set which is capital X minus A union derived set of A. Then, which implies See here, x belongs to x minus a union derived set of a. That implies x does not belongs to a union derived set of a, right? That is, x does not belongs to a and x does not belongs to derived set of a. Because here, x not in a as well as derived set of A implies X does not belongs to its union. Right. So X will not belongs to A as well as not belongs to derived set of A. Suppose let's consider X does not belongs to derived set of A. X does not belongs to derived set of A implies X is not a limit point of A, right? Derived set of A. What does mean? Derived set means the set of all limit points of the particular set, right? Since X not belongs to derived set of A, that implies X is not a limit point of capital A. If X is not a limit point of capital A, then by the definition of limit point, we can tell that for any open set, I am considering an open set, say capital G, which is containing element small x, such that according to the definition, G intersection A minus singleton set x equal to empty. If it is not, then it will become limit point. That is by the definition of limit point, right? That's why we are considering which is equal to empty so that this x will not be the limit point of A. That is here G containing x implies this x belongs to G where G is an open set such that G intersection A equal to empty. We can write G intersection A minus singleton set X as G intersection A itself. A minus singleton set X having the value A itself. Call this as equation 1. Now let's analyze why this G intersection A minus singleton set X is G intersection A itself. Let us consider the contradictory. Uh, X here does not belongs to A. Right? This is by this condition. X does not belongs to A. X does not belongs to A implies in the set capital A the element X does not exist. So if you are subtracting any nil element from the particular set you will get A itself. Right? The subtracting x x does not belongs to a subtracting x from a set not containing x doesn't affect anything so a minus singleton set x is a itself 
therefore g intersection a can be written as g intersection a minus singleton set x but we know that g intersection a minus singleton set x as empty therefore this g intersection a equal to empty that's why the condition one holds let's continue again if y be any element that belongs to g then y does not belongs to derived set of a why this because if y belongs to derived set of a then y will become a limit point then by the definition every open set containing y contains a point of a other than y that is by the definition right again since g is an open set containing y therefore g contains a point of a other than y which is not possible therefore y does not belongs to derived set of a hence g intersection derived set of a equal to empty call this as equation 2 now consider equation 1 and equation 2 Let's find out the value G intersection A union derived set of A. Okay, um, let's expand this by using distributive property. This will be G intersection A. This with this union here union is there. G intersection derived set of A. Right now. we got the value of g intersection a from equation 1 which is equal to empty union g intersection derived set of a from equation 2 which is also empty so empty union empty is empty therefore g is the subset of x minus a union derived set of a because g intersection a union derived set of a equal to empty that implies g and a union derived set of a having no common elements so common elements will be in its complement that's why g will be the subset of x minus a union derived set of a thus for any x belongs to capital x minus a union derived set of a For any x be belongs to x minus a union derived set of a, there exists an open set, say capital G, such that x belongs to G. G is a subset of x minus a union derived set of a. Therefore, capital X. Minus a union derived set of a is an open set. See here, G is an open set. Its super set is x minus a union derived set of a. Since G is open, this is also open because it's a super set. That's why this is open set. X minus a union derived set of a is open implies. A union derived set of A is closed. Hence, for any subset A of X, A union derived set of A is closed set. This proves the result.